So there's a feature in iOS 8 that I'm really excited about um, that has been on Android for a long time, but finally made its way to the Apple ecosystem, and that's the ability to change your keyboard. This is a huge deal. Uh, Apple really doesn't like letting third-party developers mess with like the basics of their operating system and the keyboard being one of those things. It's kind of interesting to see that they finally kind of let go of that control. Uh, what this does for you and I is it allows us to have a customizable keyboard that a third-party developer can create and we can download from the App Store. So, as part of our new tips and tricks section on theunlocker.com, I figured I'd do a quick video to show people who maybe don't know that they can do this, um, and those that do know they can do this, but aren't sure how, how you can actually install a custom keyboard from the App Store on your iOS 8 device. Okay, first we're gonna open the App Store, and we're gonna search for iOS 8. And then scroll down, you'll see a few options already here in the App Store, and I'm sure a lot more will come. But I'm gonna just install one because it's gonna install the same for regardless of which one. We're gonna do SwiftKey, so install that. And then once it's installed, you're gonna go to Settings, General, scroll down to Keyboard, tap on Keyboards, hit Add New Keyboard, and you should see the new keyboard right here under third-party keyboards. Tap that. And then once you're done there, a lot of the keyboards require full access. Um, so you're going to need to tap on the keyboard name and turn on allow full access. Uh, if you don't, it just stops it from kind of keeping track of certain things, etc. But a lot of the keyboards need that in order to do the predictive stuff. Uh, and in this case, also to do the, the swiping across the keyboard. So I'm going to turn it on and then you can tap on any app that requires a keyboard or typing. Tap into a field so that the keyboard comes up. And you're going to tap this little globe icon, which is normally how you get to your emoticon keyboard. Tap it again, though, and you'll get to your third-party installed keyboard. And then you can just... Start using. Enjoy!